I'm here with the Chief of Naval Operations, and we just want to take an opportunity today to uh, really send a pretty robust shout out to all our newest Chief Petty Officers. No, absolutely. Congratulations. You have been selected for what I think is our asymmetric advantage in the United States Navy. When I travel around the world and I talk to my counterparts in foreign navies, every one of them wants a Chief Petty Officer Corps like we have. Yeah, and, and to be those people, you're going to go through a process that's going to try you, it's going to test you, and it's going to be difficult, it's going to be challenging, and it's going to humble you, and we need you to be those people. And that's what the CNO is talking about and what our nation partners are looking for in their own NCO cores. Yeah, so as you go through this transition, I want you to think about becoming confident leaders, but humble leaders. I want you to think about being hardest on yourself so that you're worthy to lead our sailors. And then finally, never stop learning, right? Just because you've been selected for Chief Petty Officer, that doesn't mean the game is over. It's constantly moving forward and we need to be learning. That's right, CNO, and it gets hard. Uh, what the Navy's gonna ask you to be for our Navy as a senior enlisted leader, it's difficult. Uh, but if you work hard, learn every day, and never stop learning, you'll be a successful leader. But just know that you wouldn't be this person today if it wasn't for the people in your life, those family members. No, exactly. We all have role models. We all have those folks who have helped us get to where we are. Uh, keep those folks close to you as you move forward. Be leaders of extreme expertise and competence, but also leaders of character, and you'll be exactly what our Navy needs going forward. Congratulations. Well done, Chiefs.